Pluto is a far-off and strange planet that was once an individual member of our planetary system's planetary family. Anyway, late frightening declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They recommend that this frigid world is on a potential crash course with Neptune. Yet how is it that this could work out? Also, what might be the outcomes of such a monstrous occasion? Are we seeing an intercosmic peculiarity, or is there something else to this approaching vast impact? Join us as we investigate the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune influence. Pluto, a previous planet that was downgraded to a dwarf planet partly because of its curious orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the galactic community. According to late expectations by leading researchers, Pluto's direction is perilously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the warning of a potentially dangerous impact between these two planets, which could represent a colossal danger to Earth. How is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is not normal for any other planet in our solar system. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its highly elliptical shape, straying entirely from the close circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more unconventional is its inclination, calculated at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows is much more extreme compared to the other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most interesting parts of Pluto's orbit is its crossing point with Neptune's orbit. For around 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually draws nearer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging what we could anticipate from their positions in the nearby planetary group. This leads to the natural question, why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The investigation of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its unusual orbit. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie somewhat near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stuck out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's orbit indeed crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is evidence of the intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves figuring out how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. For Pluto's situation, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms AIML libration, scope libration, and VZK wobbling are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their orbits is azimuth libration. With regard to Pluto and Neptune, this term means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it's positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in keeping their paths from intersecting. Scope libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it's arranged entirely above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection from potential impacts. Another key factor in this scenario is the VZK wobbling, named after three researchers, Zell and Kai, who studied how things move in space. It involves the way three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. For Pluto, the VZK wobbling helps us understand why its path near the Sun is so unusual. Despite Pluto's path seeming erratic, this wobbling helps keep it moving smoothly over long stretches of time. The VZK wobbling shows that even if things in space seem wild and random, some patterns and rules keep everything together. All of these factors help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or veer off course. 
This three-body problem is important for understanding how these orbits change due to the way space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant worlds and their stars. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is actually chaotic, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millions of years. Nonetheless, these unique properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long time scales, effectively keeping the chaos under control. Recent computer tests have helped us understand how the giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special connection with Pluto where, for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only one to focus on. Jupiter's gravity also plays a huge role in protecting Pluto's orbit, and Saturn helps substantially as well. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is powerful enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable orbit for a long time, indeed, even billions of years. So, it's like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are all working together to make sure Pluto continues to move safely in space without running into trouble. These peculiarities are essential in keeping everything in order and consistent in space. Without these forces, the solar system as we know it would be a much more chaotic place, with bodies like Pluto potentially crashing into others or being ejected from their stable orbits, leading to a cascading effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discussions of it perhaps colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This provides a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of harmony through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and exploration of these phenomena to better understand our position in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often leads us to confront the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a great representation of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is clearly outlined in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Using computer simulations has been immensely helpful for researchers in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to imitate how Pluto and other space objects like Neptune pull on each other. By changing small details in the simulations, astronomers can see how even tiny changes can make a big difference in where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s, these simulations showed something interesting about Pluto's orbit. Although it has features like azimuth and scope libration to keep it stable, its orbit can still be wild and erratic. If you start with even a small difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit can end up looking completely different over long periods of time. Yet even with this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for an incredibly long time, like billions of years. This means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a sort of order to it, even though it seems chaotic at first. Predicting celestial events, especially when they involve chaotic orbits like Pluto, is a huge challenge. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term predictions are often full of uncertainties. While mathematical simulations provide powerful tools to understand and predict the future paths of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our predictive abilities. These models heavily depend on the accuracy of initial conditions, and any slight mistake or distortion can lead to wildly different outcomes, making precise predictions an overwhelming task. Furthermore, the chaotic nature of celestial orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-evolving and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made huge strides in understanding space, the case of Pluto reminds us how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Understanding the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides significant insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can have sweeping effects, influencing the stability and direction of other bodies within the system. 
So why are major astrophysicists only now raising concerns about a potential crash between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complex forces working to prevent such an event, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a crucial figure in popularizing cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, particularly the fascinating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in the renaming of Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers insightful commentary on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's fascination with the unknown realms of space. Tyson's stance on Pluto's renaming is rooted in the ever-expanding knowledge of our solar system. He views the renaming not as a downgrade but as an important adaptation to our growing understanding of the many bodies orbiting our sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and transformation. He sees the complexities of orbits such as Pluto's as a sign of how much more there is still to discover in space. The allure of these unknowns, like the potential for catastrophic encounters between Pluto and Neptune, continues to captivate not only scientists but also the public. Tyson's theories about Pluto's eventual fate take into account the highly irregular nature of its orbit, making it clear that anything from a close pass to an eventual crash remains within the realm of possibility. Michio Kaku, another renowned physicist, lends his voice to the growing concerns about Pluto's fate. Kaku, known for his work in theoretical physics, delves deep into the mathematics and physics behind the potential interactions of Pluto and Neptune. His theories suggest that while the gravitational influences we've discussed thus far offer stability to Pluto's orbit, the long-term future remains uncertain. Kaku warns that as time progresses, even the slightest shift in the gravitational balance between Pluto, Neptune, and other planets could cause a catastrophic event. His predictions underline the vulnerability of Pluto's orbit, despite its seeming stability today. As we look deeper into the cosmic mechanisms, it's important to consider the future of Pluto's orbit. Even though we've established that the planet's path remains stable for billions of years, nothing in the universe is truly immutable. Over time, gravitational interactions with other celestial bodies could potentially shift Pluto's trajectory. The Sun itself will also change, gradually transforming into a red giant and eventually collapsing into a white dwarf. As these shifts occur, the gravitational forces within the solar system will evolve, and objects like Pluto may experience altered orbits. While current models and observations suggest that Pluto's orbit is unlikely to collide with Neptune in the near future, the uncertainty that comes with predicting celestial dynamics over such vast timescales means that we can never fully rule out the possibility. The forces involved in orbital mechanics are powerful and intricate, and even small changes can accumulate over long periods, potentially causing significant shifts. This ever-present uncertainty in space exploration brings us back to a fundamental aspect of our understanding of the universe. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we still don't know. The study of Pluto and other distant objects continues to push the boundaries of astrophysics, offering new insights into the nature of planetary orbits, gravitational interactions, and the fundamental laws that govern the cosmos. As astrophysicists continue to observe Pluto and Neptune, new data could emerge that either strengthens or challenges our current understanding. While the possibility of a catastrophic encounter between Pluto and Neptune may seem distant and unlikely, it remains an example of how space is filled with mysteries, some of which are still beyond our full comprehension. Our tools, such as advanced simulations and space exploration missions, are becoming more sophisticated, offering better ways to predict, observe, and understand these cosmic phenomena. The potential for a collision or near-miss between Pluto and Neptune serves as a reminder of the vast complexity of our solar system. These celestial bodies, despite their distant and isolated positions, are not immune to the intricate dance of gravitational forces. Whether or not such an event will ever occur is uncertain, but the possibility itself raises questions about the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our solar system. Ultimately, the story of Pluto's orbit invites us to think beyond the confines of our immediate understanding. It challenges us to look at space with fresh eyes and embrace the wonder of the unknown. As scientists continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, it's clear that we're only scratching the surface of the many surprises the universe has in store.
whether Pluto and Neptune will remain in their safe orbits or one day experience a cosmic clash is a question that only time and further discoveries will answer.